Welcome back to the Rise of Dave show. What I got today is the Redemption Kit, LMC from Limitless Mod Co. I have the Limitless Mod Co 220 Watt Classic. And, uh, and this is a really solid device right here. Dual battery, 220 watts, just all stainless, you know, these uh, even stainless doors with that resin on the outside. Uh, just really well made. The only issue I have is there's a little, little bit of looseness in the button and the menu system with this thing is kind of weird. Maybe we'll do a review on that at some point. But uh, Big fan of that device. Big fan. I know that Limitless recently, I don't know how recently, uh, went under new management. Uh, as far as I know, there's nobody left from the original team uh, making anything from LMC, but they do still hold the name. So what do you say, guys? Do you, you want to check out uh, LMC's redemption kit? Maybe they're trying to redeem themselves? The Redemption Kit from LMC. 80 watt, single 18, 650, uh, I guess, sub ohm starter kit. Either way, let's run through it. Uh, which way are we going here? Does that work? Does that work? How about this? Redemption. 80 watt. One side, two side, three side, four side. Super exciting. There's all your uh, social medias, limitlessmodco.com. Uh, your, you know, Prop 65, you Better Reach Your Children, QR, all that fun stuff. What's in the box? This is one of those boxes. Ready? Oh, did you hear that? So that sleeve pulls off, and then here's the top of the box inside. I love sleeves, you know, that beautiful just waste of our trees. You get a little uh, QR scanner. Uh, this is going to be where you actually get your user manual and all of that fun stuff. Uh, there's really not much to know on this, this device. Uh, we're going to go through everything, but if you're curious, there it is. A little battery warning sheet for you. There you go. Yep. Don't carry your battery in your pocket. All right, here is our kit. Look at that. Our device, extra straight glass, spare coil, not in a bag, just kind of in the box. And a Hextron atomizer. They don't tell you that anywhere, but this is the Hextron sub -ohm tank. This is a, a little dated, uh, 2016, maybe? Both the glasses are the same. It is a 3 mil capacity. We'll go over the tank first, that way we can get her juiced up. Uh, you may see a little bit of residual juice in here. I did just get done cleaning it, but I'm going to keep the same coil going. Um, I've been vaping on this for about three days now, and it seems to be doing okay. Okay, so top is not a 10. It is a proprietary drip tip, and this screws off. This is a 22 millimeter sub ohm tank. Got those two really nice kidney ports on top, one for your juice to go in, one for your air to come out. So I like that. Uh, I don't really like the top cap. It does have an O-ring in here uh, to prevent leaking, and it does have the stainless steel for better threads. But uh, anybody out there that doesn't, uh, you know, want to throughout the day continuously touch their drip tip uh, with their fingers and then obviously with their mouth, um, this is kind of maybe not the... Uh, the most hygienic design. Uh, efficient, sure, but maybe not the most hygienic. But from there, we can open it up right at the base. This does have, and I wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to show you guys the paint job on this ring down here. I'm sure some of that can be attributed to the fact that this is an older device that's probably just been sitting somewhere for a long time. But, uh, yeah. That's that's pretty rough, and this is this is not for me. This is exactly how this came. Um, yeah, pretty rough. 
check out the bottom here. Limitless Mod Company designed by Limitless Mod Co. Your CE warnings, do not throw this away. Please recycle it. Your 510 nice insulator. This is not, not for a hybrid mech. Guys, please don't use sub -ohm tanks on hybrid mechanicals. Unscrew it. Your glass is in here. That glass does come out of this cage. It's just a little tricky. It just takes uh, it takes a little bit of wiggling. There's your chimney and the top threads for your coil. Here's the coil that comes pre-installed. All of these coils that come pre-installed are 0.5, and they are huge. This one uh, is not doing too bad. Yeah, I man, it's not doing terrible, you know. And just to show you guys a fresh coil here, these are parallel round wires, so there's two coils in there running right next to each other. And whew, look at that cotton. It just doesn't it look like a whole toilet paper roll just down inside this coil head. But uh, yeah, guys, here you go. That's about the best I'm going to get. It does say 0.5 ohms, 40 to 80 watts. My camera's just not going to pick it up. It's a little rough on this coil, uh, especially since this coil has just been sitting outside of any kind of bag and just placed inside this this felt uh, felt and styrofoam piece in here, which, eh, I don't know if that's also the most uh, hygienic way to go about presenting your massive coil heads. On the base, as you'll see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six air flows, and they are adjustable. Everything that you do uh, to one of them, that's going to do the same thing to all of them. Honestly, you can, you can restrict this down a little bit, but it's, for me, it's a pretty airy vape. And then this simply, you just got to make sure that you kind of push good enough for it to thread, but you don't want to push too hard, obviously. And there you go. There's the Hextron. I'm going to throw some of that uh, Berry Aid in there from uh, one of our previous juice reviews that we did. It's a strawberry lemonade. LMC Redeeming themselves. That is the... Extron sub ohm tank that this kit comes with. Yeah, and here we go. Here is your 80 watt redemption single 18650, 4.2 volt, variable wattage only. No, no USB port anywhere on here, so no way to update it, no way to do anything else with it. It's pretty grippy. It feels, uh, it's pretty tactile. You've got this really big fire button in the middle that is uh, pretty responsive anywhere that you click it. I'll give it that. One of my biggest gripes, though, is... You guys hear that button? That button rattle is terrible, LMC. Absolutely disgusting. Just makes it feel extremely cheap if you had just tightened that up, this this device uh, wouldn't feel quite so cheap. Uh, your up and down buttons are right here. You can see that engraved black on black, which everybody here knows that I love so much. It's so hard to see that like even my camera refuses to focus in on it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's your minus. And there's your plus. You'll see right here, there's a little spot for your nail to get into to open that battery door up. Pops right off. Super easy to come off. Just two magnets on the top that hold it together. And then a, uh, you know, an old back of your cell phone holding the battery clip that rests down in here. Super, you know, 2003. Really killing it with this, guys. All right. Let's put a battery in here. Positive side down, battery orientation. Again, that black on black engraved. Super hard to see. Super uh, not recommended for people with poor eyesight. You do have some battery venting on the sides down here. Okay. And there's your display. How, uh, how beautifully dated is that? 
hard to really see guys, but it's it's basically just pixels, square pixels, uh, you know, and that's all you get. You got your battery life, you got your ohm reading, and you got your wattage. Five clicks powers it off. Five clicks powers it on. Three clicks will show you your volts, but if you hit any button, it goes right back to wattage. So you can see the voltage of your battery, but you can't do anything about it. You can't adjust the voltage. Uh, this is just a wattage device. So yeah, about as easy to use as it gets. I'll give them that. You know, there's really no um, thrills and thrills or anything like that with this device. Um, it looks fairly nice. I would have really liked this device if it had been uh, like a zinc alloy or something along those lines and you know just uh, just overall was better constructed um, and I would have liked to see a you know a booster in this somewhere I mean just flat 4.2 volts out of a single 18650 like there's there's much better ways to go but uh yeah there you go guys there is the 80 watt redemption kit some gnarly paint job there LMC uh, this is a rough one to redeem yourselves with I'll see you guys back up top all right what's up guys welcome back to the top we're back up here with that redemption 80 watt kit redemption 80 watt mod single 18 650 comes with that pretty dated hextron sub ohm tank with those Massive coil heads on the inside. I've got it right at 80 watts. Figured vapor production? Is that what you want? Alright, sure. I blow the worst O's. Vapor production's okay. The flavor on the Hextron is, to me, it's that kind of older school sub ohm tank like overabundance of cotton, wrong wire, and you kind of always have that like dry mouth kind of cottony taste that comes through. Uh, it's not terrible, but it is there. As far as the mod goes, this button. Oh, this button. And it's so responsive everywhere, uh, no matter where you click it. If I click it down here at the bottom, if I click it up here at the top of the button, dead center, I mean everywhere on it is super responsive, which is nice, but that that side to side motion is, is absolutely atrocious. The fact that I'm just running 4.2 volts uh, is kind of a bummer. You guys could have gotten it up to 5, you know, at least 5 volts would have been nice. Coil heads. Coil heads are okay. That battery door kind of sucks. I mean, if you drop this thing, that battery door is coming off and it's it's gone. It is gone. It's nice that there's a ribbon in there. Uh, the battery venting is cool. I uh, I didn't mention this down, you know, in, in the up close segment, but it does have a lock feature. So if you hold down plus and minus, device locked. device unlocked. So it does have a lock. I didn't mention this before in the oven close, but Limitless did collab with Plyrock in order to bring you guys this device. Um, I don't believe Plyrock has ever had anything to do with the Hextron. I could be wrong. I don't know. That paint job on the Hextron on that ring. Everything else about the tank looks good. It looks clean. I like the cage cage that goes around the glass. I mean, it's not going to protect every drop and spill, but it might give you a little bit more protection. But that paint job on that ring above the AFC, I mean, come on, really? Is it just because it's old and it's sat for forever and you guys just found a box and threw this sub ohm tank in with this kit? I, I don't really know how I want to go about like even rating this device. Is it something I'm going to use? Maybe? here or there, uh, use regularly? No. Uh, is it worth going out and buying? Well, right now, I found it pretty affordable on clearance on a lot of sites and things like that. I picked up this this whole kit for 25 bucks. So, I mean, if you're in the market for an all-black 
plastic, cheap, easy to use kit with a sub ohm tank. Uh, yeah, 25 bucks, I guess, is not a bad deal. Just be aware, it's, it's pretty cheaply made. It's tough that I, I struggle with that, like, redemption name. I'm like, okay, they're going to redeem themselves with this little device. It's going to be badass. It looks really badass, and it does. I mean, it's very, like, tactile, you know? Ergonomics are there. It's a little weird because you kind of do this, like, this Spider-Man thing when you, when you hit that button. But, I mean, uh, ergonomics are definitely there. I mean, I, I can't debate that. Is it easy to use? Yeah. Is it something I'm going to use, though? Probably not. I mean, in the long run, probably not. Uh, your batteries are going to drain quick. I'm already down 5%, hitting, uh, hitting it like three or four times. I don't know, guys. Uh, is this a device that I would recommend to anybody? Probably not. Um, but like I said, there are people out there that would probably love this. So that that's my, my hot take for today, guys. And once again, that is the... LMC Redemption Kit. If you guys want to check the show out on Instagram, it's instagram.com forward slash Rise and Dave Show. Join Kasa. Go be awesome. Join Kasa. It's free. All you need is an email. Help support the cause. That's it for me today, guys. Uh, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to vape on this and I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great week. Um, take care and keep on vaping. Oh, this button.